Hello yogis, hello journey goers. Welcome to the Zen Den and welcome to your core workout flow with the yoga trapeze. So if you're unfamiliar with the yoga trapeze, I've done a few flows with it so far. I'll link down in the description below so that you can learn more about this amazing prop. If you do have your swing, I recommend setting it up and measuring it so that when you step back into a plank pose, you can lift your feet and place it into the swing easily. Um, also, if you love free yoga and you like me, please subscribe to the channel. And other than that, I invite you to unroll your mat, put on your core game face, and let's get flowing. Okay, to get started, we're going to take a moment on our back. So face whichever way you want. This is just how I'm facing to have more room on my mat and come into Apanasana. So come into onto your back, hug the knees in towards the chest and just gently rock from side to side. Massage the low back. Take a few deep breaths here. Coming into the moment, bringing the mind into the body, getting ready to move with breath and intention and work our asses off a little bit, yeah? <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. I want you to extend the leg straight out into a straddle-like pose. Flex the feet, flex the toes towards your face. Let the legs extend as long and out as wide as they can. Make sure you firm up through the muscles and then take the hands overhead, steeple the fingertips and on an inhale breath, lift the shoulders and lift the hands and bring them through the legs. And we're gonna pulse for 20 here. Hug the low belly in, stamp the low back into the ground, and then pulse for 20. One, two, three, four, five. Keep squeezing the legs, hugging low belly in. Eight, nine, 10, 11. You got this 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold it at the top. Little pulses for five, four, three, two, last one. Ah, let it go, Apanasana. Hug the knees into the chest. Whew. I'm not joking around here. We're gonna do a lot of core work starting right off from the beginning. This time extend the legs straight up towards the sky, stack the ankles right over the hips, flex the feet again towards the face, interlace the hands behind the head, create a basket light shape, and on an inhale breath, I want you to lift the shoulders up off the ground, keep the elbows wide, hug the low belly down, and then another inhale of tire. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, neutral. Keep moving like this. Baby crunches, lifting the chin towards the sky. We got 10 more. Halfway there. You got this. Three more. Last one. And let it go, knees in towards the chest. Take another big cleansing breath. Alrighty, and then make your way up towards tabletop position, facing the front of your mat. Coming into five rounds of cat-cow pose. So stacking shoulders over wrists, knees over hips, moving through your, ver your version of this pose. So inhaling to open, stretch, Exhale and round. That opening should feel really good to stretch the belly. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round the body. Three more breaths, doing anything that feels good here. Last round. Good. 
And then meeting me in downward facing dog for five breaths, curling the toes under, sending the hips back and high. And don't worry about your swing. It'll move around with you. So just make sure you're never really caught in it. But other than that, it'll just easily float around the body. Three more rounds of breath. Push down through your hands to lift the body up and away from the earth. Roll the upper arms out to make space in the neck. Send the energy up through the spine and all the way down the legs towards the heels. One more round of breath. Alrighty, here we go guys. So come forward into plank pose and then slowly step the feet into the swing. Okie dokie. <laughs> Coming into a plank lifted pose in our swing. Once you got it and you're stacking shoulders over it, hug the low belly in. We're going to work on shoulder taps. So tapping our arm to our shoulder. Really going to have to use the core here. So here we go. Tap. Whoo. <laughs> and tap. We're going to do 10. That's two. Gaze forward. Three, four. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! <sighs> okay. Release the legs and come into a child's pose. You can always modify and just do regular plank and come out of the swing there if you're finding it too difficult to sustain. Two rounds of breath here. Another breath to sink in. Alrighty. Inhale to look forward. Come up back into downward facing dog and we'll move through a few sun salutations. Inhale to come up onto your tippy toes, gaze forward again and walk the toes all the way up towards the hands. Forward fold, Uttanasana, relax the chest, head and neck down. Inhale, bend through the knees, sweep the arms out to the side, rise all the way up. Arms extend overhead and exhale them down through heart center. Here we go with three sun salutations. Inhale the arms high. Exhale forward fold. Inhale lift up halfway. Exhale step back plank pose. We're lowering all the way to the belly. Slowly lower. Elbows hug in towards the rib. The ribs engage the belly. Engage the legs all the way down. Slide the forearms in front of you for sphinx pose. Three breaths. Really root down through the forearms, lift the chest, pull the heart through the gate of the arms. Legs are active. Breathe. And lower it all the way down. Push back up to plank pose. You feel free to use your knees to get there and send it back downward facing dog. Inhale to gaze forward. You can walk, step, or hop, whatever you need in the moment. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands down through heart center. Two more. This time we're going to do cobra pose. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, uttanasana. Let it go. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back, plank pose, lower down through chaturanga all the way to the belly. Keep the hands right where they are. Send the elbows back and magnetize them together. Lift up, use the middle back muscles. Bhujangasana, cobra pose, two breaths. Lightly pressing into the hands, one more inhale. Exhale, release, curl toes under. Push up plank pose, downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath here. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale your way to the top of the mat. You choose. And forward fold when you get there. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Sweep the arms. Grow tall overhead. 
Exhale, hands down through heart center. This time we'll move through a chaturanga, but you can take any of the versions we've done so far. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to whatever you're taking for this vinyasa. So you can do plank, straight to down dog, chaturanga like me, up to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath. All right, we're gonna come back in our swing and we're gonna do what's called an L-shaped prep handstand. So essentially you're in plank pose. You're gonna use your core to lift your bum and stack it or work towards stacking it directly over your shoulders, all right? So hips over shoulders. You might not get there, but it's gonna teach you how to engage that really deep core muscle to sustain an inversion type work like headstands, forearm balance, and handstand as well as arm balances. So we're gonna do five and take a break and do five more. Unless we're really feeling it, we'll go for all 10. As in like, unless I'm really feeling it, right? Cause I can't see you guys. But I know if I'm struggling, we're probably all having a little bit of a hard time here. Okay, so arms super engaged, flex the toes. On an inhale breath, lift the bum, stack it over as much as you can, the shoulders, head drops, send it back, exhale. Inhale, lift. I think we can do 10. Exhale, lower plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high. Exhale, lower. Really hug the belly in when you lift. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. We're halfway there. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Lift, hug belly in. Exhale, plank. Three more, lift high, exhale plank, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale last time, and lower back to plank, take the feet out, find child's pose, extend the arms long in front of you, relax the head down, three deep breaths. Last breath. Inhale, look forward, come into downward facing dog as a transition. One breath, exhale it back. Inhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, down through heart center. Let's take a few breaths. Reconnect, bring that heartbeat in if it's all over the place. All right, three more vinyasas. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. I want you to take whatever you need here. I'm gonna take chaturanga, but that doesn't mean that's what you need. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, back to chaturanga if you're coming with me. Inhale up, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adho Mukha. Two rounds of breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale your way, top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Palms touch. Exhale down through heart center. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. <sighs> inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to wherever you're going. Inhale up to your heart opener. Exhale back, downward facing dog, two breaths. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, lift. 
exhale fold rise all the way up on an inhale last one exhale immediately forward fold swan dive it down inhale lift that heart breathe exhale take it back inhale up to your heart opener exhale back to downward facing dog two rounds of breath all right last little bit of core in the trapeze here okay so step the feet back in this time we're going to come into lizard lizard core work all right stack the shoulders over the wrists gaze forward on an inhale take the right foot out hug it in towards the tricep plant the foot by the right wrist and then drop the hips and the heart forward exhale lift the hips step the foot back into the swing inhale left leg lifts exhale hug it in and step drop the hips open the heart really good stretch exhale lift hips send it back two more times each side inhale right exhale connect and step inhale drop hips open exhale lift send it back into the swing inhale left exhale hug and step Whew. inhale open exhale lift hips send it back inhale right exhale hug and step inhale open last side exhale lift the hips send it back inhale left exhale hug step drop hips open exhale lift step back let's just hold for three breaths last bit and release down find child's pose this time we got five breaths in child's pose so really soak it up we deserve it yeah Last round of breath. All right, inhale, come on the way up. And now we're gonna come into a heart opener on our swing, kind of like a modified puppy pose. The best way to do this is come behind your swing like so, and then you're just going to fold forward into like a downward facing dog, but on your swing. And we really want the swing right in the hip crease, okay? From here, start to just let the toes lift and the chest drop, and then wrap the feet around the swing, okay? So you might need to gaze up here, but you're gonna just lift your legs and wrap them around the inside and hook the toes. Once you're here and you're hooked and the swing is in your hip crease, extend the arms forward interlace the hands and then just allow the chest to move back and drop we're going to be here for about 30 seconds to a minute so plenty of time to get into it move around Keep the breath nice and steady, the mind and the body present in the moment. Use this posture as an opportunity to open the heart, release store tension, make space for all the new, release the old. And just to stretch out that belly in our chest, yeah? We're about halfway there. Mm. 
Five more breaths. One more round of breath. Make it count. All right, release the hands. Push into the earth with the forearms. Pull forward with the swing. Release one leg and then the other. And then slowly lift up out of the swing. And then just take a forward fold. So cup both elbows, bend the knees deeply. Feet hip width distance, and just relax the head and neck. Forward fold. Taking any variation you'd like. You don't need to take this one. Two more rounds of breath. All right, inhale, lift the gaze, come up halfway. And exhale to find a seat on your mat. All right, all the really hard work is done. So find a comfortable seated position. We're gonna move through some seated cat cows and release the hands behind the head. Sit up nice and tall, take a big inhale breath, lift the heart, lift the chin, let the elbows go out wide. Exhale to hug the belly button back, elbows drop down, round. Three more, inhale, lift up. So lower down. Inhale, come up. Really gentle here, guys. Exhale, lower down. Inhale and lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Last time, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift back up through to center. This time, inhale the arms straight up to the sky. Exhale, twist over to the right. So left hand comes across, right arm goes back. Inhale, lift back up through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, lift. Keep these gentle. Exhale to the left. This time keep the hand right where it is on the right knee or the left knee. And then take the left hand and interlace it through. Catch the outside of the right thigh. Inhale to lift up. And exhale to bend the elbows and round the back and drop down. Really squeeze the outside of the legs in. Make a lot of space in the upper back. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release the both hands and then inhale straight up to the sky. Exhale, twist over to the right this time. Inhale, gaze forward, keep the left hand right there. Interlace the right hand through. Inhale again. Exhale and fold. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift the gaze, release. And we're coming into Shavasana. So all that you gotta do is lay onto your back. You're gonna set the feet into the swing. Extend the legs nice and long once you get them in there. Make sure there's a lot of space in the low back so the sacrum, the pelvis is nice and neutral. Once you get into that really comfortable space, palms down by your sides. Take a big inhale breath and hold it at the top. Suck in a little more air, a little more. Let it all go. <sighs> Completely relax down. It shouldn't be too hard. <sighs> A 
let the body rest and reset and reconnect. Shavasana. Start to invite some deeper breaths into the body. Feel the rib cage expand and then drop. Feel how the breath awakens the body. Start to slowly move your fingertips and then your toes. And then hug one knee into the chest and the other. Rocking from side to side. And then in your own time, slowly meeting me up in a seated position at the top of your mat. Grounding down through the sitting bones, lifting up through the crown of the head. Bring hands to heart center. Thank yourself for stepping on the mat, for doing the hard work, for believing in yourself, for releasing your fears. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.